Eric Olacho, farm manager in this section of uh, CRA's farm. This is a farm that uh, we do have uh, this crop for orphanage and also for primary school. We have been supplying for the orphanage uh, vegetable in and out of the season. As you see, we are doing various types of vegetable, such as local vegetable and also hybrid vegetable. Like uh, in my back, there is a cowpeas. Cowpeas we always harvest leaf uh, as leaf vegetable and also we harvest pods as grain. So these things are used for orphanage. We use them to feed our children here at orphanage. But also we ha if we have surplus, we always market them so that we can get also income for, for the orphanage. Okay. Now that uh, the rain is not dependent, you cannot like entirely depend on the rain. How do you like do your your your, uh, your farming here? Absolutely. Uh, because of uh, an predict uh, an uh, predictable rain uh, season, we always have support of irrigation. We do have three boreholes and one wall well that is over there. We, which we, we, we get water for irrigation. We don't depend on rain at all. We always uh, plant and if there is no rain, we have irrigation system as we are going to see in other parts of the farm. We have drip irrigation and also we have a sprinkler, okay. overhead sprinkler irrigations mm -hmm. where we, 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 we water the crop when there is no rain. So in short, uh, the weather the weather challenges and don't necessarily affect you. Absolutely, that was the main uh, you know, point of concern. That because we have orphanage and this orphanage should get vegetable from our farm. So we mentioned we we we, we, we made sure that we have another alternative. If there is no rain, we have another alternative that uh, we will be producing this vegetable. So we can feed this, the, 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 the orphanage. To be specific, which types of uh, crops uh, do you plant apart from cowpeas and maize? Any other? We have done a lot of vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, cowpeas is the one that uh, you see here. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But uh, also we have skuma wiki, that's mm. kales. Kales, yeah. We have also brinjols, yeah. eggplant. Mm. We have uh, we have been also doing tomato, but it has um, entered because we have harvested last season. Okay. Now there's no vegetable, no tomato now, but we are doing another season of tomato. So we are doing tomato also. We have been doing cucumber on over our greenhouse. We have been doing uh, this uh, mm, pojo. We have been also yes, we have been also doing uh, this uh, amaranthus, and also we have mchicha. So actually you have a variety of, uh, of crops, huh? Yes, we do have very many types of crops. So we have changed from tomato, now we are doing kales. So after kales, we are, we are going to return again tomato. So we are doing we are doing tomato, so these are uh, you know kales. Mm. And we have uh, we have previously we had the tomato. So we are doing this so that we break that uh, 
cycle. Yes. cycle. That uh, next c c c cycle will be again tomato, okay. and we are producing a lot of tomato until we can stop like a hotel. Like we have uh, an order with the uh, Seven Island Hotel where we supply everything that we have in excess. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, here goes right. So as you can see over here, these are the okra crops. So what are some of the challenges of uh, planting okra? Okra does not have challenge because okra does well in this region because it it it, it can sustain it it can uh, it can um, tolerate the, the 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 heat, the temperatures, and also it can tolerate drought. So these are the best. These are the best uh, uh, crop to do in this region. Uh, how long does it take uh, from planting the seedling of okra to harvesting? Uh, it is approximately two months because we plant direct. We don't have to make nursery. And uh, if we plant uh, direct, it only takes two months to mature. Okay. So we start harvesting. I've noticed that the okra is uh, uh, is, is is not in the sheds, eh? yes. uh, unlike the other crops that were planted inside the, the sheds. Why is it so? Because I've said that uh, okra does not have problem in this environment. For, okay. the, for example, in the coast region or here in Malindi, uh, we have a uh, hot temperature. Greenhouse used to 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 to, to protect the crop from scorching or what but uh, okra does not need that because it is a crop of this region okay yes okay thank you these are fish pond we have also fish uh, farming we too we do have uh, two of them the smaller one there and these are bigger fish pond this fish pond it came because we wanted to supply mm, protein for our children rather than buying meat or every time or uh, buying some fish from market we opted that because we have a lot of space because this farm is lying on uh, four acre of land uh, separated from mango. Mango is, is 10 acre, but the, where we are doing farming is four acre of land. So we choose this place to put fish farming so that we can supply fish for our children. And also we intended that if it can uh, grow uh, larger and bigger, we can also do selling. Now we are rearing uh, in, uh, these are tilapia. Uh, we have harvested for two times now because we installed this project uh, in 2019. So we have been uh, we, uh, so far we have done two harvesting and we had uh, 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 fish. And also it serves as a reservoir, water reservoir. Because we do have a bigger machine that cannot pump water from our wells, we have uh, to fetch water or to, 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 to fill this pond so that we can take uh, our bigger machine uh, pumping water from this reservoir. But also we, we had a plan that uh, we can harvest rain uh, water from school. We have a lot of... Uh, uh, roofs. If we can have this roof collect water to this place. So we are also having that plan that we can harvest rainwater and this will be a reservoir. We can collect from all roofs in our orphanage and primary school so that we can fill this uh, reservoir and it used for uh, irrigation. Yes.
maybe for clarity purposes you can tell us how many fish ponds we're talking about and uh, apart from tilapia any other type of fish that you rear here uh, as per now we are doing only tilapia but uh, we are looking forward also to have uh, catfish which can survive saline, saline water because we have a challenge that uh, this tilapia and tilapia rearing in a sal uh, salt water is somehow challenging because it doesn't cope well with salinity that's why we are opting also to, to introduce another species of catfish or mudfish so that we can have good harvest.